Just under a year ago, we witnessed an instant classic between these two foes in the NLCS. Now, they meet again at the Meadows for what should be another showdown in Slate 4. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz, this is TC3. A great matchup today and a lot of big names in MLW. That's right, one of those big names being my own Jordan Robles who is here back at the Meadows today. He had a great all-star game and I hope he can continue that momentum into today's series. I got a full six guys with me today. Really to keep our playoff hopes alive for that one seed, we really need to sweep. Two wins technically keeps us in that contention, but a sweep would be massive going into Slate 5, so that's kind of the goal today. Although we're still taking this game by game, absolutely. But like I said, a full six here today, and I was trying to get some wins on the board. And for the Diamondbacks, they made history in that first half, being eight and one. They have six guys at the ballpark here today, consisting of Jimmy Norp, Jonah Heath, Michael Shima, Pishka, Bennett, and Flood. Uh, they swept the, the, the Gators in their last series, and we're looking really good on the mound. As always, Trey Flood and Jimmy Norp should be doing the same thing here today at the Meadows, but. This can be kind of interesting because I could see you guys facing off against in the postseason. So it's like, do I think Jimmy's going to show all the cards? Are you going to show all the cards? Will Jimmy pitch two games? Will he give Pishka a shot? These are all some questions that I think the managers are considering here heading into the Meadows. Is that kind of right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Jimmy's 100% a chess player. I'm sure I'll try to match him move for move, but uh, he's quite the manager, so uh, respect to Jim. And for more context on this matchup, let's go into the graphic right here. A little flashback of that 2022 NLCS. What a series that was. We saw a perfect game, just the 10th ever in MLW history in Game 3 to clinch it for Jimmy Norp. Game 1, oh my goodness, one of the craziest games ever. Went 8 innings, Shima had a big hit and that one to go ahead. Uh, and Tommy, you had a couple homers in Game 2. What do you? What sticks out to you and what do you remember from that day? Just the intensity, the sheer, the sheer grit of the moment and uh, how just heart-wrenching it was, that loss. So definitely carrying that into today. And folks, as a reminder, we are heading to York, Pennsylvania for our third straight year for the U.S. National Tournament. And we are again hosting a fan festival on that Friday evening. It is October 6th this year. Going to be a lot of fun. If you are in the area, I highly recommend that you attend. We also be playing in the tournament on the 7th and the 8th alongside our U17 National Championship Tournament. So uh, going to be a lot of fun. And time now for player interviews. All right, Preston, you're going up against your boy from Bay City, Trey Flood here at the Meadows today. And you're also looking for your first career home run. What are the odds it comes against him? Every time we're at Bay City practicing, I like to face Trey for this specific moment, so it'd be a storybook ending for sure. Now on the other side of the field, Trey, you're facing off against not only your boy Preston, but a lot of hungry Mallards that are in the, in the thick of a playoff race, so how do you counter that? Uh, you know, Mallards have a great squad, but I think we got every piece here to counterpart that. Um, I'm honestly just super pumped to be out here again. It's always a great day out here playing with us. Uh, just gotta have fun. We're gonna have a day. Let's go. Gonna have a day. D-backs, Mallards, here we go. All right, we're good to go from the Meadows. We are good to go. Trey Flood on the mound. He was your National League starter in the All-Star game. Swing and a miss on a dirty curve. Ball four to Tommy. Outside, ball four, first and second. Just like that with one away. He left it, and we are loaded. Back to the top of the order for Jumpman. What a pitch from Trey. Let's take a look at that sequence. It was deadly. Three drop balls at the top of the limit. You can't throw them better than that. Two away, still loaded now for TC3. What a pitch from Trey Flood at 69 miles per hour. He gets out of it. Mallards leave him loaded. Trey puts a zero on the board. Swing to miss. He got him on the drop ball. Strike three. Swing to miss on a two seamer that did not bite. Incredibly tough for right handed hitters. What a pitch from Jordan. Slide drop, got Pishka looking. One, two, three, go the D-backs. And we head to two. Battle now. Shot in the left field. Jimmy Norp, the flip to first. Routine. Gets pressed on the ground, one away in the second. Nice pitch from Trey Flood at 70 miles per hour. Strike three. Yes, he did on the swing. 74 is only his first warning of the inning. 
He gets out of it. One, two, three. The Mallards go in the second. This game is absolutely cruising along. And he got him on strikes on a two-seamer into the tin. Ground ball to the left side. Irwin, while Jimmy is stumbling, he got him at first. Jimmy face plants. Two down. Heath ground ball up the middle this time. Safe at first base. Swing and a miss on a dirty slide drop. We cruise along to the third in a scoreless ball game. Outside, ball four. Shot in the left, pass north. First and second. Preston Cole with a base hit. Ball four, we are loaded in the third for Jordan Robles. Another big situation for him. And he walks him, ball four. The Mallards strike first in game one, it's one nothing. Swing and a miss, he got him on the drop ball. That hovered over the strike zone. Shot to left, it's Norp, the throw home. Got him by a step. Two away, Jimmy saves a run. Still just one nothing. Bases remain loaded. Outside, ball four, two nothing Mallards. Great AB from Caden Irwin. Shot up the middle, weird hop. He can't come up with it. And save, two run score. A two RBI single for the Mallards. Jordan Robles with a shot up the middle. Heath with a little bit of a bobble. Might have been the difference to get that second run in. It is 4-0. Quack. Nice pitch there for Trey Flood to get out of it, but not before. The Mallards get four runs on the board, highlighted by a two RBI single from Jumpman. Swing and a miss on a ball that hit his leg. Strike three. What a pitch from Robles. Two seamer on the outer edge. The best spot to place that pitch. We've got two away for Heath. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Jordan Robles with a gem on the mound. Four nothing final score. A big win for this Mallard squad. They improved to five and five on the year and have now won three of their last four. We're all set here in game two. Caden Irwin on the mound for the Mallards. Jimmy, of course, to lead off. First pitch of the game, a shot to Tommy. Safe, he got his foot in there. Jimmy has got so much speed. Beats out an infield single there. Ball four, first and second. Swing and a miss on the drop ball. Dirty pitch from Caden, strike three. Shot into left, Preston Colm pegs Jimmy, smart play. Preston Colm has been showing a lot of improvement in the field. Shout out to the Mallards fielding coach out there, he should get a raise. I don't know who that is. Matt. Slider he went. You don't see that kind of swing often from Norp. We head to the bottom of the first where it looks like Casey Bennett will take the mound. Shot on the first pitch to Norp. The throw to first, got him. One away in the first. <laughs> Bennett sweeper misses inside. Hard hit, back to Bennett, tough hop, safe, 
at first, momentarily. On, now Preston will touch the base. Bennett missed it. <laughs> Preston, Preston played it cool, but he came back and he touched it. First and third now for the Mallards. Good at that. Off the knee, ball four, we're loaded. Back to the top of the order. Robles once again today is up with the bases loaded. I believe that's his third time already. Hard hit, back to North, coming home with it. And he beat that one, safe at home. I've got safe by the slightest margin there. Good speed there from Tommy. And now it's one nothing Mallard. Two nothing Mallards. Ball four, three nothing Midwest Mallards. What a pitch there from Casey Bennett. Two down. There's a lot of late movement on that little sweeper. Here's Robles. Shot fair ball into left field. Weird spin on it. And he gets Tommy at third base for the third out of the inning. But they tack on three. We head to the second now. Took some off, Jonah! Off the wall. Long single for Jonah yeah. Heath. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch there from Caden Irwin. Nice pitch there at 73 auto ball, ball four. And that was the second violation of speed during the AB, let alone the inning. That is gonna be a fair ball, it came back. And bobbled that third base, more so drop from Preston on a quick flip. Hard hit up the middle, into the gap. One run will score, now two will. It's three to two in the second. A two RBI single for Jonah Heath. Tattooed that ball into center. And it's just a one run ball game now. On the ground, and that will get past the cheap line. Pishka with a single. To Tommy again, Caden more so, and he will make that grab two away. Good range there from 22. Two down now for Jimmy North. He left it. We are tied in the second. Foul grounds for Tommy. He makes the third out of the inning. And we are tied 3-3. Bennett back to the mound. Swing and a miss. See, so got him on strikes. Pops right back to Casey, PO1. <laughs> Strike three, Casey Bennett with a dirty pitch there. One, two, three, go to Mallards in the second. And a scoreless ball game. We head to the third. And it is now time for the BL 101 trivia question of the day. The question today is. Jimmy Norp's first career win on the mound came against which team? That's right, it was the Eagles in 2020. Shot in the left off the wall. Jacob Pishka with another hit in the game. This kid's seeing the ball very well. Nice pitch there from Caden. Right below the limit at 72. Missed up, ball four, first and second for Heath. Fair ball back to Caden, the flip to third. Very well done from the Midwest Mallard defense. Low at 72 once again, he's flirting with that violation. And we are now loaded with two outs. Inside ball four, the Diamondbacks erase a 3-0 lead and now lead it 4-3. In the right center, in the yard, Tommy under it, makes the grab. Caden Irwin limits the damage, gets out of it. It is four to three. The Mallards will look to walk it off or at least extend this game right here. Let's go! 
And the Mallards tie it up! Jordan Robles home run! You just knew he would go yard. He thrives on big spots. Once again gets the job done. 4-4 four, four game. And we've got a Pat Lee Cards pitching change, Trey Flood into the game. Hard hit on the first pitch of Flood, ground out. Swing and a miss on a drop ball that didn't come down all the way. Now it's Matt Carlington with two down. Swing and a miss, Trey Flood gets out of the inning. Picks up Bennett, and we head to four. In slate four at the Meadows, Mallards, D-backs going back and forth. Yes. Fair ball, Tommy Coughlin out at first base. Hard hit back to Kitten Snag, throw, catch. That is how you do it. Hard hit to the left side, Cole got him at first! What a play from the Mallards! One, two, three, go the D-backs. In the fourth, we head to the bottom of the frame in the tie ball game. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Outside, great A-B from Tommy. Shot in the center field, it's a single. Tommy will stay. First and second, and now it's Matt Carlington with the winning run in scoring position. Missed up, ball four, right? One run will win this game. It can be a walk, it can be a hit. Let's see if Jordan can be the guy. The pitch from Flood. Ball four, the Mallards take game two and take the series. Jordan Robles, RBI, base on balls, will walk it off in game two. Caden Irwin gets a dub on the mound. This team's feeling good. They win it in extras and now have a winning record on the year at six and five. Game three, Mallards looking to sweep. Jimmy Nort back to the mound. No. Ball four to Robles. Shot right to Heath. One hopper. Did he get him? I believe he did. One out moves Robles up on the ground out. Great job from Jonah to stick with it. Got a piece right, Nickage. Strike three. Look at how far this ball dropped. Ball. Whoa, a knuckleball gets a piece, and Jimmy makes the grab. What a play. The fact that Robles got a piece of that is crazy alone. But Jimmy makes him pay for doing so. In the right field, Tommy, one hand, the throw to first, beat it out, Jimmy, with a single. He's got so much speed. Anything in the field of play you have to do is gonna be a hit for Jimmy. Case in point right here. Nice pitch there from Robles. That windup is beautiful. Hey, come on, win the battle nines, base ball four, let's go. The three-two pitch from Robles. Swing and a miss, he got him on an elevated riser. Outside, Shima works the walk. And that will bring up Jimmy Norp in the top of the lineup with two away. Let's see what the Mallards do here. I got a good feeling Robles is gonna go after him. That is right, Robles the flip, and get out of the inning. Zero, zero after one. 
Nice job there from Robles to get out of the jam. Outside. Incredible. Ball four. Missed up. Ball four to Cole. Ball four just missed. We are loaded for Robles. Sound like a broken record today, but once again, he's up to the plate with the bases loaded. Just the guy you want. Infield is in. Shima and Heath, right by Norp. Shot past Shima in left. One run scores. It's safe. The second one comes in as well. Missed the backstop. Second and third go to Mallards. It is two nothing here in the second. So we're gonna miss. First out of the inning. Home to left. Shima has no play, gets a run in. Carlington comes in and takes a spill. Oh no. Strike three looking. We've got two away now. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Battling back from a 3-0 count with Norp. Gets Robles on strikes. And we've got ourselves a 3-0 ball game, headed to the bottom of the second. Shot to right, off the coping and over, Jonah Heath, solo shot. Gets one run back. Just the second home run at the Meadows today. Robles has one, now Heath has the first for the D-backs. Two run ball game now at the Meadows. Here in the second inning. And when Pishka connects, they are absolute shots. They leave it an instant. We are back. See ya. Back to back. Basically the same spot for both of Pishka's career home runs. Shot, Pishka, go! So we're gonna miss. So we're gonna miss at 72, right below the limit. Come on, on. Pitch from Jordan. Swing and miss. He got him once again at 72 miles per hour. Perfect speed. Jordan gets out of the frame. However, we have ourselves a 3-2 ball game. And now Matt Carlington is mic'd up. Here's this guy, best left fielder around. Tell me why I suck. I can't do that anymore, I'm not. Can't help you out. Incident. Oh my. Well, you don't see that every day. Here comes the football, yep, there it is. Pishka, he might have one of the best swings in the league, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the mosquitoes are bad out here at the Meadows, as you can see. Wow, Jordan just living at the limit. I mean, there's some things you can't teach. That might be one of them. I got dirt in my trousers. Are you 50? Are you sure it's dirt? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah. Let's go, Jordan. Let's let's get another knock here. Maybe maybe put one over the fence. First one. Why not? Why not right now? Everybody, thank you for watching. <laughs> Popped up, Jimmy under it. And he will make the play, one down. Nick, that was Nick, right? That was Nick. We've got some Nickage there for strike three. Oh. 
And he walked him. Nice pitch there from North. Gets out of the third. We've got ourselves a one run ball game. Headed to the bottom of the third. D-backs in danger of being swept right here. Just low. Ball four. The winning run in Michael Shima coming out of the plate. What a pitch from Robles! The drop ball. He went two seamer, two seamer, and ends him with a 12 6. Now it's Norp with a guy on base. With one out, Robles will attack. Swing and a miss. Went all the way around. Two down now in the third for Heath. One swing of the bat will still do the job. Swing and a miss. The Mallards sweep the downtown Diamondbacks and are now just one game behind them in the standings. Oh my goodness. What a performance today by Jordan Robles. They are now 6-0 against the Diamondbacks in the regular season in the past two years. I did not see this coming today. RBI singles from Robles and Calm highlight game three. And Robles once again shuts the door in a 3-2 final score in game three. My goodness, you guys sweep the D-backs. You guys did it last year in the regular season. You do it here today. Jordan, you're the player of the day with a home run, two wins. Now, you're a guy I know is very competitive, and I know last year when you lost him in the playoffs, it might have took a toll on you. So how good does it feel to beat that team today? It feels good, but it's kind of bittersweet. Like, it's nice to sweep them. We swept them last year that we lost in the playoffs. So it's nice, but we're looking forward to the playoffs. That's what matters. So um, we got to do this when it matters in uh, October. That's right. That's right. When the video releases. We don't yes. play in October, guys. <laughs> And Tommy, you guys are quietly one game behind them in the standings now. What's the mindset moving into Slate 5 now for the Mallards? Definitely looking for the one seed now, right? I mean, it's definitely helpful to have that DS series off. But like Jordan said, it feels great to sweep today. But uh, we know what happened last year, so um, I'm probably less happy than I should be. But uh, the D-backs are a good team, and so are the Eagles, and so are the Gators. So we got the Gators next. Hopefully we can take care of business there, give ourselves a shot at the one seed, and uh, go from there. But uh, just a good team win today. Everybody contributed. Preston, Jordan probably both had their best series of the career, so couldn't be happier. Hey, Slate 5 shaping up to be pretty interesting on both sides of the league. So stay tuned on the channel for that in Slate 5 and the rest of Slate 4 uh, for that matter. So thank you guys, as always, for watching the video. Subscribe in that corner and see the last video from us in that corner. All of our links will be in that description below from our merch and tournaments and podcasts. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.